one sells pretty crazy because it's not just promoting my brand it's promoting a message that i like to hook up with older women get it milf slayer not an ideal uh time and place to start my vlog here again but slowly trying to make a to-do list for goals and things i have uh set for the next couple weeks and slash months um there it is i got goals down here here Duh. um but i want to show you guys a sneak peek of a couple things i have in the works and current things that i just have going on so for starters I have a podcast in the works. I have the, the setup for it already. Um, I'll just do a little breakdown. This right here, this is a wet floor sign I cracked over a wrestler by the name of Matt Locke's stupid head. Um, it's broken because it's broken over his face, but I thought it was a nice little addition to uh, the podcast. I have light up number seven, some champ shoes. I have custom custom drew um then my my gimmick socks here which you can get in the link in the description then over here i have a champ poster i drew in sharpie when, when did i do this march 29 2020 so what is it three years ago uh other than that i just have this uh spider-man plushie i won in a las vegas casino like 10 years ago or something but i thought it was a nice little addition because these are all things that Describe me, and I'm thinking about making this the whole setup here, just be on a freaking futon for now, but it's a start. I might just end up making this like my what's in my wrestling bag YouTube video, because I've kind of always wanted to do that and show people how much I carry around and what I carry around. So first off, this is my bag. Got all these stickers on it. There's my gimmick sticker. That's the sticker from where I get my stickers from. That's the website, or that's the wristband website, sorry. Um, Another cool sticker there. I just did the sticker thing the other day. Spider-Man down there. Uh, little gimmick stickers. That's me right there, cartoon version. I'll have t-shirts of this made pretty soon, but for right now, I just have stickers available. Um, so let's get into this thing. So for starters, this is a pretty convenient suitcase because it's got this little flap I can keep all my gear contained and nothing will fall out. Um, but to get right into it, this is my newest uh, gimmick jacket. I can't take credit for this being made because my buddy Josh made this for me. He painted it up for my birthday. He also made the uh, caution wet floor sign over there with my logo. But he painted all these super sweet logos on there that I designed, but he painted. Um, got the Mill Slayer one there. Um, and then my iconic S7 one. Um, so yeah, I just started wearing this one uh because i lost the other one but for right now this is what i'm rocking with next simple resistance band because you got to get pumped and look swole this bag i just keep full of like random tape that i've somewhat used or haven't red white black you know in this little pouch i keep my spurts water bottle just to get my hair wet make my body look nice and wet lubricated as far as the main compartment goes, if I can run it, this is where the fun stuff happens. This is the gear I've been wearing for a couple weeks now. I haven't been able to break in my new stuff yet, but which I'll show you in just a second. But I love the, the design on this. It's got the, the four zippers. I love the texture, if you can't tell. I'm a big texture guy. I'm not super color pop, but at least not in this set, I wasn't thinking. Um, that's the that's the, that's the front. This is the back. It used to be a logo back here, but I took it off. Again, I just love the texture and the zippers and stuff. So I thought that was enough. So that's that. Kick pads I just started rocking with. This guy who designed these made the trunks I'm about to show you. But these are probably like the best kick pads I've ever had. So I designed that logo somewhat, I guess. I just thought this was cool because it looked like an S. And that tossed a 7 in there too. And I also rock with the sparkles too. That was his idea. What I wear... Underneath the uh, oh, knee sleeves, um, I rock with just the regular high spots, uh, spandex knee pads. This is the gear I have yet to use. These are trunks. I've never worn trunks before. Um, 
right now I just stick with the biker shorts I just showed you, but I will be rocking these pretty soon. And then there's my logo up front right there. Got the same glittery texture, which huge fan of, didn't think I would be, but I am. Yeah, got the big International Plays Club logo on the back. So that's kind of how I have just like everything packed away. I like to put this logo in front because it's dope or this pair of trunks up front. I don't really get to wear these, but when I do, you'll know. Jacket like this, because I don't want this logo to get all wrinkled. It probably was when, you, when I first showed you guys, but, but yeah, that's it for the suitcase. As far as merchandise goes, this is probably my heaviest bag. For starters, here are the gimmick socks that I've been wearing or selling. Available in the link in the description uh, on my website. Go pick those up. I only have a couple of them left, so pick them while you can. These are probably one of my favorite items, actually. Stickers and wristbands. Here's my just gimmick logo stickers. This is the first logo that, second logo I've ever made. I actually drew this logo. I drew it in Sharpie, and then I had someone design it on a, uh, a t-shirt printing company, actually. And this one I designed as well. Um, this one I actually made myself online. Uh, Devin shocked the world. I call it because you get it because there's a lightning bolt and then there's a world in there, you know. <laughs> Here's my newest sticker, which I showed you on my suitcase. But um, that's me. The artist who made this is on Instagram, Suicidal Assassin. If I remember, I'll put his information in the link in the description below as well. If you can tell, that's uh, these trunks that I'm wearing with an IPC hoodie that I used to come out to as well. And that was when I had like the super long blonde hair that I was rocking with, which kind of debating on bringing back. I definitely need to get highlights again because my brown is showing through. The wristbands, I'm going to plan, I plan on getting some more, but right now I just got to sell what's left of these. These are my first ever wristbands. This is like the first piece of merchandise I ever started to sell. And this, I just have some left over. Wristbands I rock with now because everybody loves the concept behind them is the Chant Bands. The same uh, message I have on the shoes up there, and then uh, the poster. This binder is where I keep my 8x10s and pray they don't get damaged because sometimes they do. My first, this was my first photo shoot with AEW when I did dark there in December 2022. This is when they're announcing me. Um, got my quick little flurry of chest pounds in there and then got my ass beat so this one was taking at texas wrestling cartel july or something like that maybe i don't remember super awesome promotion you'll see me there pretty soon i'll put up the match graphic for what i'm talking about right there boom fuego del sol coming for your ass because i just love the color my freaking long blonde hair one i got these two on my website right now which once again, link in the description. Now we'll get into my t-shirts because these ones sell like crazy. This design, Mill Slayer, it's not just promoting my brand, it's promoting a message that I like to hook up with older women. I, <laughs> I made this design myself on the internet. I'm actually not good with like Photoshop and stuff, so I legit just found fonts I found a heart, I found a girl, and two swords. This is the first ever shirts, group pair of shirts that I was selling when I first started. I actually really like this one because it's like really pops my name. So as far as like merchandise goes, that's all I have for right now. I do plan on getting like different variations of the merchandise that I already have, like champ socks or milk slayer wristbands, that's in the works too. Figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update because it's been like months since I put a vlog up and I said I would. But for right now, I'm just trying to like really get back on top of my stuff and just like make a plan and like stay on top of wrestling, get back in the gym way more serious. Bulk, I don't really want to get fat, but like I do need to put some size on. We've got a lot of plans for the rest of the year. But for my next like big thing, it'll be me and Fuego Del Sol. September 23rd at Texas Wrestling Cartel Corpus Christi. So if you're Corpus Christi local, come out, watch the show. You guys get to watch me beat up Fuego, so um that's all i have for today um i just wanted to show you guys a bit of uh what i've been doing kind of nothing crazy uh update you guys on what's gonna happen soon or uh some announcements i have coming up 
But as always, I'm gonna leave you guys on a little motivational quote of sorts. I'm gonna say be stronger than your excuses because I had every excuse not to do a freaking vlog, but I was like, screw it. And I decided to pump one out anyway. So be stronger than your excuses. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't fall victim to anybody or anything that might play tricks on your mind, telling you things that aren't true or trying to manipulate you in ways that you tr might believe or might fall victim to. So don't do that. You're better than that. Anyways, you guys rule. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for always supporting me, buying my merchandise, subscribing, liking this video as always. Um, share this video for people that are curious to know what I'm doing or want to know what's inside of professional wrestler's suitcase. So anyways, love you guys. As always, be stronger than your excuses and shock the world. I don't want to worry about nothing for a